learn to crochet with Potter and Blue. So, for the pineapple stitch, you just need an even number of stitches. So, what we'll do... Just 16. It's really annoying that I have to count out loud like that, isn't it? I do apologise, everybody. Um, <laughs> I don't know why I do it. Right, so pineapple stitch, even number of stitches, and then add two for your turning chain. Okay, and then what we're going to do is a pineapple stitch into the fourth chain from the hook. So let me show you how you do a pineapple stitch. Yarn round hook, one, two, three, four, and into your chosen stitch. Grab your yarn and bring it up. Okay? And then yarn round hook into that same stitch. Grab your yarn and bring it up. Yarn round hook into the same stitch. Grab your yarn and bring it up. Yarn round hook into the same stitch grab your yarn and put it up. So you have done that four times, okay? Now you go yarn round hook and you're going to go pull this yarn through every single stitch on your hook except for that last one there, okay? So you've got two remaining and then you yarn round hook and your pineapple is done. It's so squishy and lovely. So we chain one and then we miss one chain and we do it all over again. So yarn round hook, miss a chain. So we go one, two, three, and four. Okay. Yarn round hook and through every single stitch except for the last one. Yarn round hook and through the remaining two. Chain one, miss one stitch. And do it all over again. One, two, three, four. Yarn round hook. So your pineapple should be looking something like this. Oh, my focus there. And they're gorgeous, aren't they? They feel really nice as well. So chain one and miss one chain and do it all again. One, two, three, four. Yarn round hook through every single stitch apart from that last one. Oh, I've got caught somewhere there. Oh, I don't think that's going to work. I'm going to have to do it again. Chuk, chuk, chuk. So, one, two, three, four. So yeah, be careful as you're going through, because if you get caught on any of the stitches, you want to try to keep this all nice and loose, she says, with incredible tight stitches on hook. <laughs> try to keep it nice and loose. Chain one. Yeah, keeping it nice and loose will um, make going through two. A whole load of stitches at the end much easier. Chain 
she says. Just not happening. Chain one, miss one stitch, one, two, three, four. Now I think the reason that I was looking at this stitch is um, because I'm thinking of adding it to the border of something and I think that this is perfect for that. Just a really, it gives a really nice finish and all you need to make it work is some loose stitches, Emma. <laughs> I'm not practicing what I preach, am I? Okay. And when you get to the end, you should have two chains remaining and instead of doing a popcorn stitch in to so miss one chain instead of doing a popcorn stitch you do your normal chain one and then you just work one treble into that last stitch so it gives you a nice edge and that is what your popcorn stitches look like chain three oh One, two, three, and we'll work the next row. So, chain three and turn your work, and this is what you will have. Very nice. And all that we do is work our pineapple stitches into these one chain spaces. So exactly the same thing. One, two, three, four, yarn round hook, and through all the stitches bar the last one, yarn round hook to secure and chain one. So let me just talk you through the, pu the pumpkin stitch, I was going to call it then. What? I don't even know where that came from. Let me just talk you through the pineapple stitch again, okay? So yarn round hook into your gap, pull up your yarn once, yarn round hook into your gap twice, yarn round hook into your gap three times, yarn round hook into your gap four. So you do it four times, yarn round hook through all the stitches apart from your last one, yarn round hook, chain one. One, two, three, four, Chain one. One, two, three, four. Chain one. This is what it starts looking like. It gives a really nice effect. It feels super squishy. And I'm just thinking that this Oh, oh, <laughs> three, four. This would make a lovely border or edging for something. Really, really nice. The dog is um, humping. Two, three, four. Cause she wants to go out for a walk. <laughs> and I am about to take her out for a walk. And I think she knows it. I don't know how she instinctively knows. That I'm getting ready. One, two, three, four. But she just does. They're super clever, aren't they, dogs? Chain one, and then we're at the end again. And all that you do is you work your one treble into the top of the turning chain. And that is all you need to do for a pineapple stitch. And then one, two, three, turn your work and do it all over again. It's lovely, isn't it? One, two, three, four. So, 
I hope you found that useful. Two, three, four. I hope that was useful. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you use the pineapple stitch, not the pumpkin stitch, the pineapple stitch, if you use it, then let me know and show me. I'd love to see. Um, yeah, and I think I'm going to use that for a border on something. So that is the pineapple stitch. Hope that was fun, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.